Hey guys, I am back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a book review because I have just finished reading The Honey Badger's Guide to Life, which I found super surprising. I sort of read it because I thought it would be funny and Laurie read it, It was I bought it for him um, before me and I really thought it would be more directed towards males, but I really took a lot away from it and I thought I would share what I took away from it with you today. What surprised me the most about this book is that I thought it would just be silly and funny because that's the way I perceived the honey badger to be. Very sort of happy-go-lucky, always just wants to get a laugh, but he's actually quite a serious character and he's very spiritual, which shocked me in a good way um, and I was very into. And one of the things that I learned from this book that I didn't know before was that he speaks a lot about how you sort of in life need to sometimes detach from technology and get away from people um, and find yourself some negative ions. So there's negative and positive ions and ironically we need negative ions to feel positive. And the places that you get these are like in the bush, out in nature, surrounded by trees and lots of oxygen and whatnot, near water, creeks, beach, waterfalls, all those sort of things. And that was particularly interesting to me because I always knew that going to places like that and immersing myself in nature and you know getting barefoot in the grass in summer even makes me feel so good and i think i've spoken before on this channel about how the beach is just absolutely so good for my soul but i never understood that there was actually a science behind it and a reason why so i thought that was super cool and i really just that has not left my mind ever since and I've been striving to get more and more <laughs> negative ions in my life and just detach myself from technology a little bit more so I love that what I didn't rate about the book is that it felt like there was just things like that that were really spiritual really profound and serious and I really loved and then there'd be like a story about being drunk and streaking in the middle of whatever and getting arrested and I was like mm, really like just didn't feel like it fit in there. I'm sure some people get just as much out of that tidbit as I do the spiritual side of things, but I just feel like it was a really, for the most part, smart, um, intellectual, informative and spiritual book. And then you throw shit like that in there and I'm like, why? <coughs> you tell him, buddy, you tell him. How dare he be there? <coughs> On the whole, I thought it was easy reading. I learnt something, got something out of it. I'd probably give it an eight out of 10. Would recommend picking up a copy, and giving it a read. Those were my thoughts on The Honey Badger's Guide to Life. Thank you for watching my channel. As always, if you like this video, please leave it a like and share it with a friend. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already because I am trying to reach a goal of getting to a thousand subscribe subscribers by the end of the year. So it'd be really cool if you could help me get there. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.